Hello everyone, it's Miss Hannam here and Monty Moodles. I just wanted to let you all know that we're missing you so much at school, seeing your beaming smiles, and I in particular am missing seeing Aquarius in the classroom every day. Who knows what the nation celebrated on Friday? Yes, that's right, VE Day. But what exactly is VE Day? VE stands for Victory in Europe and it marks the end of the Second World War in Europe on the 8th of May 1945. This was the moment that millions of people had been waiting for after nearly six years of fighting. On this day, 75 years ago, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister at the time, made an announcement to the nation and a national holiday was declared. People celebrated their newfound freedom and street parties were thrown in communities. So you might be wondering, why are we celebrating something that happened 75 years ago? Well, while people were celebrating, they were also remembering all those brave soldiers that fought in the war for our freedom. Those that survived, those that died, and those that were injured. The war was very challenging for our country, and today, on VE Day, we remember those soldiers and celebrate the freedom that they gave us. All of your teachers have been setting you home learning tasks and one of them might have been to research how you could celebrate VE Day at home with your families. My street held a VE Day street party. Did any of yours? Let's take a look at what my VE Day celebrations looked like. An invitation arrived through my door a couple of days prior to the event. I was very excited and it got me thinking and reflecting on what the day was actually about. I wore blue, red and white as a bit of fun, as obviously our Union Jack flag is made up of all those colours. I know some Year 5s also did that. I quickly got in some exercise before I began preparing for the celebrations as I knew I'd be very busy at my lockdown VE Day street party. I put my creative skills to the test and made red, white and blue flags to hang on my fence as bunting, the colours of our United Kingdom Union Jack flag. I even used my flag as a tablecloth. Once I had finished making the bunting, I hung it along my fence in my front garden along with the Union Jack flag. My neighbours all decorated their houses and all respected social distancing and sat on their front driveways and gardens as we started our lockdown VE Day celebrations. I even managed to squeeze in teaching my 10 year old cousin how to make scones over FaceTime. The clock struck 11am. My neighbours and I held a two minute silence in our gardens taking some time to remember the brave soldiers who fought in the war, many losing their lives. At 3pm our street did a national toast to the heroes of World War II. I prepared some nibbles for our streets afternoon tea. Sandwiches, homemade scones, it was all so, so yummy. To end my day, I completed my daily act of kindness by taking my neighbour's dog, Monty, for a walk. Isn't he cute? Before bed, we watched the Queen address the nation on TV and joined in with the nationwide sing-along to the famous war song, We'll Meet Again. That's all from me for now, so take care, stay safe, and I cannot wait to hear about all the stories and fun activities you've been up to during lockdown.